Hello everybody, we continue with the sixth chapter of how to set up an online shop with PHP and Dreamweaver. We were in the administration part and what we are going to do now is uh, using the same format we made for the products but with the categories. So we will proceed as usual but a little faster as most of it is repeating things. So the first thing we will do is, as the order of factors does not to define a um, we're going to do a new link that will be list categories. We can do it just by copy pasting it. And here, to follow the same line and not to make a mistake, we will write categories list PHP, for example. We save and we go to an aggregator. We open the localhost. As you can see, it already appears, but when we try to open it, we get an error because we haven't created the page yet. But it has already created the corresponding section. I remind you that in product list, we already had the possibility to add a product, just that and we haven't created a category here. There are no categories here. To do so, we we'll close here and we're going to create a new file. Again, a copy of index.php, control C, control V, and we will call this categories list PHP, the same as the products. We open, once again, we change the name here, categories list. We're going to delete this text, and now we just make a query to the database to extract the category list. So, record sets. The name default record set one is fine, the connection is the default as well. And within the tables, we're going to select table category. We select an order, it by ascendant description. We accept again. And as you can see, it creates a lot of code in the left side without having to type anything. Next thing, and it would be very usual, will be this insert table two lines and a couple of columns for the description and the actions we accept it appears here in the first column we write category name and in the second actions in the right side, in links, we unfold the records at one. The query we have just made, and we just track str description to the corresponding place. And here in actions, we can write edit. Next thing, we'll be repeating this as we have marked before the tr, which stands for line, and td for column. So we're going to repeat each line in behaviors. We add a repeat area. Here, as initially we're going to use many categories, uh, maybe 15 or so. We're going to we are interested in watching all of them at once, so we choose all the records of the record set one and we accept. It builds up the code and includes a tiny repeat here, and this will just list our categories. Next thing we're going to add a category. We write add category. All this I'm doing indeed, Dreamweaver can do it automatically if we insert data, master page, set, detail. It does most of these tasks, but I prefer to do it little by little for you for you to see how things are done. But if in the future you want to do it in a more automatic way, you can do it with this. By the moment, we will do it this way. Add category will take us to a page we haven't built yet, which will be called categories add PHP. If we go to our website, to categories list, and this goes to, uh, it goes wrong because we've done it wrong. And uh, we haven't saved categories list, that's why it doesn't work. So I save categories list, update, and we go to the other side, it's correct. As you can see, there aren't categories yet, 
and when I click on add category I will get an error because the target web doesn't exist yet so let's create it once again I take the index PHP, copy and paste, rename it category to add PHP and I open the page I change the title to add categories and delete the line below. Now let's use the, the Hadron Weaver providers to, to make a register insertion. So we go to insert register as we did before with the products, insert form. In this case everything appears as default because it's the first table appearing. And when I create a new category, I just want it to take me to the category list. For example, accept. Here we have the fields that belong to category. I'm going to delete the ID of category because it's a numeric code that isn't needed here and description will be a text field I delete the str thing for it to appear right in the label and accept you can see it has already created the code we can change this so that instead of insert register it says insert category now I press enter it auto updates and there it is I save with Control S, update and go to the web. As you can see, this already works. Now I am going to do it from the beginning again, category list, add category, and here I am. I'm going to add a category, let's suppose we're setting up a shoe shop, so we write boots. Insert category. As you can see, it automatically appears here. We still haven't got the chance to add it because we haven't created that option, but it's the next thing we will do. Let's add some more categories, for example, sandals, mm, beachwear. I don't know, I'm making it up on the move. Okay, we already have some. So now, first of all, to differentiate the title and the content, we go to the categories list page. We select all this line. And we choose the background color we feel like. We save it, we go to the web and at least use the heading is different. We won't pay attention to styles now, that's just another story. We just want to see the, the functionality and how things are done. Okay, we have already created the categories. Let's create the, the option to, to edit the category. Imagine I create a new category called uh, tracking. But but I'm going to make a mistake on purpose and call it Trocking. We use a category. Here it is, by alphabetical order. And obviously, this is wrong. I should be able to edit it. So let's make the addition of it. To make an addition, it's very easy. We go to the category list page, and in the edit button, we're going to add a link to a page we haven't created yet that will be called categories edit PHP and this will take us to a page where we can edit that category how can we indicate the navigator or, or Dreamweaver that the category we want is the one we want here not whatever there because, because anyhow the navigator must know where we're clicking it's very easy we're going to send a parameter to send a parameter, the first one of them is introduced by a question mark and we add their record ID which is the way Dreamweaver names them we add an equal followed by the ID of that category we won't have to write anything, we just go to the ID category click, drag and drop here and we get the ID category automatically I'm gonna save for you to see what happens to the page this will become a link because I put it here I update and here you can see it has become a link and if you look at the URL appearing in the lower frame you will see how it changes the ID from 1 to 2 and so on which is the way categories are named in the database now with no further delay let's make the edit category page copy paste rename it as categories edit PHP Now we will call this edit category. Let's delete this line. 
and now what we have to do is first recover the value we want to edit and then modify it so first we will make a query in the record set one out of which I will extract all the data within the category table but in this case only where the ID is the one I sent it so we click where and it automatically selects everything select from table category where the field category in the table category equals var category let's add a capital letter and now we will add a variable the name of the variable will be this one we have just created here as you can see it's an integer type the default value is zero not to be associated to anything and in execution time will be this get record ID get means that I'm putting a parameter through the address line that wouldn't that would be the question mark record ID we made before look down here where it says categories edit PHP question mark record ID equals score four for example or equals three equals two the value is the one we're going to recover with this get because we're passing those parameters via get we can do it via post but we will see that later we accept it creates here the parameter which is this one we accept and it has created as a code we've got it here and now what we're going to do is inserting the script offered by Dreamweaver in order to edit that category this is even easier from, from data objects we update registers registers update form assistant we click here it will ask us to choose a connection we choose the choose one table to update it table category select the register of what we have just picked we record one and exclusive key column would be ID category you remember that when we have defined database we said that the ID fields ID category ID product uh, they would be automatic field autonomic field sorry so now we update and after I like going to the category list for example we go to the category list and here it asks me which fields I want to edit initially I won't edit the ID because I understand it's the root field but I'm going to modify the description I'm going to delete this ID to make it nicer and I accept as I press accept the program has generated a small table in which this content will be exactly this one the description I've just picked from the record set one value description this code and compat is to make it compatible with the language model ISO 88591 which is the default this sends us back to the date etc so we now save this we go back to the administration again and we're going to try and correct the mountain thing the trucking thing I have the registers and as you can see now it's perfect okay with this we already have an issue administration of our categories now if we go to the products to try and add a new product look at this category we already have the categories we added before remember before it was blank now there are the corresponding categories so let's add a testing product as for example Mm, let's say Wellington boots for example in the placing we will write Wellington boots I will put a price of 20 euro active status for it to appear in the web and the category boots we insert the product and as you can see we already have it here so let's do the same with the categories which would be in product list we're going to select all this and we're going to give it a background color to make it clearer we save go to the navigator and update and here we've got our Wellington boots we can't edit or delete it yet but that's what we will see in the next chapter number seven I hope this was useful for you and that it's profitable too regards